all right guys welcome back to the channel so this is kind of one of those videos that will describe kind of like how these car scams work now this particular individual was selling this 2008 honda element now, she was honest about her car she even described the car as being overheated it needed work that's why it was so cheap 1600 bucks now i didn't really want to mess with it because it had a lot of miles the 300,000 miles i don't mind but you know i'm, I'm kind of looking for something with less miles and i would prefer uh, an exp but I, I wouldn't mind messing with this element just to be able to do the whole fixer up for content and stuff like that. But I had to make the video because this is kind of a scam. Not that she was doing. She wasn't pulling the scam. She, like I said, she was very honest. This individual had everything online, everything the way it was supposed to. But now I checked certain things. I always look at the license plates just to make sure, you know, it does belong to an individual or it's her car. Or at least it's registered to somebody. Obviously, when you check the title, make sure the title's clean. You could always do a title check, Carfax. And the car didn't look that bad. It wasn't that, like, beat up. But she did describe it very, very accurately. So I, I usually take screenshots of these things. And the reason I do that is a uh, reference in case I do want to buy it or I do decide. Now, she sold the element in a couple of days. So no big loss. It's not a big deal. But what I noticed when she did and like i said she did describe the mileage she was really honest let me put that it's not the seller who was trying to pull this scam uh and once again i note stuff like the center console like right there you could see where it's you know there, there's details that you look at so the reason i look at this is that way if somebody else tries to buy this car and sell it because i've seen that a lot and that's how people get scammed and you have to be aware of these things because if you're not you can get screwed so i hate people getting screwed and like i said i see a lot of these scams happening now that's the license plate okay so this is i like i said i take screenshots of this just to be able now the car got reposted right there by somebody else and now they want forty eight hundred dollars for it and now they're claiming that the vehicle only has one hundred and twenty four thousand miles i even asked him I looked at everything about it same license plate the guy changed and now he detailed the car he made it all shiny up and everything in other words he took basically a rock shined it up and turned it into a diamond now he's going to try to there's a center console now he's going to try to sell you the car for more when he didn't really do anything and he probably didn't even fix the overheating problem if anything he's going to sell it to you just like that now i don't know if he fixed it or not obviously it could have been a probably a fan that was messed up could be the water pump who knows but the point is, when I asked him how many miles is, he's telling me now that it only has 124,000 miles. The same exact vehicle with the same exact license plate. I mean, you have to watch out with these people because now they're getting craftier. And I don't know how they do the whole backing up the odometer, if that's what the case is, or if he's just fish telling. But watch out, guys. Stay in your element. Be good.